Killing took place at the Lake Castleton Apartments near 75th and Shadeland, an area that sadly is no stranger to violence this year. Fox 59's Jesse Wells explains how that area is responding to a series of violent crimes. The deadly shooting Sunday night marked the third homicide in four months here at the Lake Castleton Apartments. And if you broaden out even further, within just a few hundred feet of the intersection here at 75th and Shadeland, there have now been six homicides this year leaving many families and community leaders looking for answers to stop the violence. In early May, a 23-year-old was shot and killed on the sidewalk at the Lake Castleton Apartments. I have a hole in my heart that will never be filled. The mother of that victim, Malik Parks, believes her son was ambushed after attending a birthday party, but no arrests have ever been made. He stayed home most of the time. Um, this night, he decided he wanted to go out to um, a party. A young lady invited him, and he never got to walk to my door again. And that's hard for me. Malik's murder marked the first in a series of killings near 75th and Shadeland. In June, a shooting at an adjacent business parking lot claimed the lives of Rodney Willis and Darnell Bell. In July, Tiffany Goff was stabbed to death at the Lake Castleton Apartments. Iva Williams was killed in a domestic dispute at the Bayview Club Apartments in August. And finally, Sunday night, police were again called to the Lake Castleton complex and found a sixth victim shot to death for unknown reasons. There's a lot of family out there just like me. Young kids are dying every day. You know, you have loved ones that sit here wondering why. Last month, the North Shadeland Alliance helped organize a crime summit to address all the violence. But Irene just wants all the killers brought to justice, including whoever killed her son. Every day, every hour, every minute, every second, I think about my son. I won't ever be at peace without justice. Investigators say a second person who showed up with gunshot wounds to Community North Hospital Sunday night is connected to the homicide, but wouldn't explain how. In the meantime, anyone with information on that case or on the murder of Malik Parks is still asked to contact Crime Stoppers. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News. In Broadwipple, a woman says her car.